Good day, brethren. You are welcome to RCC Junior Covenant Parish's Open Heavens Daily Devotional. The Open Heavens Daily Devotional is written by our Father and Lord, the General Overseer of the Redeemed Christian Church of God, Pastor E. Adeboe. And I pray that as you join me today, God will bless you in Jesus' name. Amen. Today, 9th November 2024, we are looking at the topic, Old Fast to Your Vision, Part 1. I remember verse is taken from Habakkuk 2 verse 2 which says, And the Lord answered me and said, Write the vision and make it plain upon tables, that it may run that readeth it. Our text is taken from 1 Corinthians 9 from verses 24 to 27. Know ye not that they which run in a race run all, but one receiveth the prize? So run that ye may obtain. And every man that striveth for the mastery is temperate in all things. Now they, they do it to obtain a corruptible crown, but we are incorruptible. I therefore so run, not as uncertainly, so fight I, not as one that beateth the air. But I keep under my body and bring it into subjection, lest that by any means, when I have prayed to others, I myself should be a castaway. Proverbs 29 verse 18 says that people perish without a vision. If a fellow has no vision of the future, he or she will live recklessly and will likely end up in ruins. In today's Bible reading, Paul said that he had an end goal. And that was why he's always kept his body under control. When I see a fellow's lifestyle, I can tell if he or she has a vision or not. I recall a time in the 1980s when I was about to conclude a 40-day fasting exercise and a pastor visited my office. He met me lying on the mat because I was very weak from not eating for over a month. At this time, RCCG had an auditorium that was 100 times 50 meters. When he saw me in that state, he said, why are you fasting so much when you already have the biggest auditorium in Africa? What else are you looking for? I ignored him because he could not see what I was seeing. To him, I had reached the height of success. However, I was seeing an auditorium that was as big as a city, and I needed to subdue my body to achieve my vision. So we we'll see our Father and the Lord talking to us about having a vision. If you don't have a vision, you will perish. If you don't have a vision, you will live your life recklessly and you will not amount to anything or you will not achieve anything. And we see him giving an example of the, some of the sacrifices he was paying because he had a vision. He saw something bigger than what he already had at the time. Joseph saw the future. And that was why in Genesis 39, 1 to 12, when his master's wife asked him to lie with her, he said, I cannot offend the one who gave me dreams about my future. I know where God is taking me, so I must practice restraint. Hebrews 12 verse 2 says that Jesus endured the cross because of the joy that was set before him, the joy of seeing many souls being, recon being reconnected to God. So if you have a vision, if you have a goal, it would uh, inform how you behave, how you act, your attitude currently. We see someone like Joseph, because he knew where God was taking him to, taking him to. When his master's wife was trying to seduce him, he did not succumb because he did not want to offend God. So if you have a vision, you will not live recklessly. You will behave in a manner that will enable you to achieve that goal or that vision or that aim. Many of my relatives and friends thought that I was crazy when I moved my family to the place that is now Redemption City many years ago. They said, how can you, a senior lecturer in a university, that was living in a mansion relocated to this jungle without electricity. They were seeing a jungle, but I saw a city. Hebrews 11, 8 to 10 says that Abraham was living in tents because he saw a city whose maker and builder is God. What have you seen about your future? What are you live? How are you living your life today so you can achieve your dreams? If you really have a vision for your life, that vision should drive you to be awake while others are sleeping and keep going while others are giving up. Don't lose sight of your vision of the future. Keep your focus on God, the author and finisher of your faith, according to Hebrews 12, verse 2. So, uh, like I said earlier, that having a vision will enable you to behave in a manner that would, you know, will not be reckless. You will behave in a manner that shows that you have a goal, you have somewhere you are going. And we see our Father and Lord also giving another example, that because he saw Redemption City, he moved his family into where what seemed like a jungle at the time. And people thought it was crazy, but he was seeing something bigger. And that something bigger has manifested today. So what are you seeing about your own future? Where do you see yourself in the future? If you have a vision and a goal for yourself, 
you will begin to work in line with achieving that vision or goal. But if you have no idea of where you are heading to or what you become, you just continue to live your life anyhow, live recklessly, live uh, live in such a way that, of course, you live like someone does not know where they are going. And in the end, that person will not end up where God expects or where he or she is supposed to end up. So our reflection says, does your lifestyle reflect that you have seen a great vision for your life? That's a question we need to ponder on as we go about our activities today. What is that vision that you have for your future? What is that vision that God has shown you about your future? And is your current lifestyle, is it in line with that vision? Uh, is, it in, is it moving in direction of that vision? For example, if God has shown you that you'll be, uh, God has shown you that you'll be a doctor, then you need to get into school, you need to get into med school, you need to, um, do all the necessary, pay all the necessary, um, sacrifices and price and get that degree so that it can be what God wants you to be. If God has told you that you'll be a great preacher, then you need to start to gain all the knowledge, learn from other men of God, seek God's face for anointing and power so that you can achieve what he wants you to achieve. So whatever God has laid in your heart that is is your future, look at your lifestyle right now and ask yourself, the way I'm living, the things that I'm doing, would they help me to achieve that goal? And I pray God will help us in Jesus' name. Let us pray. Lord, we thank you for your word to us today. Thank you, Lord, because we know that you have great plans, a future, and a hope for us. Lord, help us to live our lives in accordance with the vision that you are showing us in Jesus' name. Thank you, Heavenly Father. In Jesus' mighty name we've prayed. Amen. Thank you very much. God bless you.